What's up, people and lovers of the world? It's me, Denise, <laughs> and today I'm on a conversation tip. So, this video is all about Valentine's Day. V-Day versus D-Day. And I want to start this video off by saying that I am by no means a guru or an expert at love or Valentine's Day, but I kind of just wanted to share with you what I think about the day and leave the conversation open for you to tell me what you think. So, okay, I'll start off by with a quote that I found. I'm not sure who it's by, but I think it's something that we should all apply to Valentine's Day or dating on Valentine's Day anyway. So it says, the best dates should be planned but flexible, adventuresome but enjoyable, creative but grounded. So with that said, make sure that you have fun on Valentine's Day. It should be all about fun and not so much just about seriousness. There are going to be times and there are going to be Valentine's Days or years where it needs to be a little bit more serious, but for the most part, you should just try to have fun. So I think that when you focus the day on adventures that lead to conversation, you'll end up having a better Valentine's Day. Generally, people tend to think that Valentine's Day is only meant for couples or for a romantic interest. However, there's actually three different categories that apply to Valentine's Day. The first category is a given. The first category is romantic couples, people who are intimate or would like to become more intimate in the future. The second category is going to be friends and family, people that you really care about, your homeboys, your girlfriends, friends and family basically, right? And then the third category is strangers or people who are in need of some help or some love. Here's one epic date idea for romantic couples. It's something that's called geocaching and I think I'm saying that right. Forgive me if I'm not and let me know in the comments if I'm not saying it right. But geocaching is when you set up specific coordinates somewhere around you and you give your partner or your girl or your dude a, a personal GPS tracking system that takes them to that place to reveal some sort of surprise. So there's one way that you can do it where you send them somewhere to maybe meet up with you and then you have some sort of surprise uh, waiting for them or there are a lot of people that put geocaching ideas or places or things online. They give you the coordinates, you put them into your GPS, and then it kind of acts as like a, a treasure hunt or a hidden treasure adventure where you get there and you are surprised to find whatever's there. Now, if you're gonna do it that way where you find what people put online, generally I would suggest that you go with somebody and you're not doing it alone so that you can make sure when you get there, it's actually something safe. Another great idea for for romantic couples for a date would be um, living room glamping. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna move all of your furniture out of the way, go grab a tent, pitch the tent in your living room and make it super cozy and comfy on the inside. Also make sure that you have great lighting. I suggest like just the clear Christmas lights because candles are kind of dangerous when it comes down to a tent in your living room. And then maybe you can just set up a laptop and watch movies on Netflix and eat your favorite foods and snacks. By the way, glamping is glamorous camping. You like that, right? You love it. Another great idea for romantic couples, and this goes out especially to people who like to make things, is find your favorite artist or your favorite foundry and set up a um, sort of spot to spot uh, treasure hunt, I guess you would say. I don't even know what to call it, but set up something where you actually get to go into their studio and watch them create, or maybe they teach you how to do a demonstration of things. And then you wanna also think about transportation, which is a great opportunity to do something different. So maybe do something like rent a tandem bike, and so you'll ride the bike from place to place to place. So let's just say you love chocolate factories, photography, and painting. Find three studios that you love, call ahead of time and see if they'll come in and allow you to come in on a date just to watch or get a demonstration on how to make your favorite things. One more great idea for couples or romantic couples who maybe have no idea what they want to do for Valentine's Day, play the envelope game. So basically you'll set up different categories so you'll have uh, appetizer, dinner, and maybe dessert and activity. And you'll have a cluster of envelopes for each um, one of those categories. So let's just say in the dinner envelopes, there's nothing written on the inside or on the outside, but on the inside it has different choices of restaurants that you can go to. And then you just pick one and that's the restaurant you go to for the appetizer. And that's the restaurant you go to for the dinner and the dessert. And then you can pick another activity, like a nighttime activity, like maybe go out dancing or go see a movie or go on a walk. It leaves the date to be spontaneous but and fun but 
you want to make sure that everything you put inside of the envelope is kind of tangible because you don't want to pull out a dinner card and you can't get dinner there because you don't have a reservation so you want to think about what you're gonna put in the envelope and make sure it's things that you can actually do but that's a great way to stay flexible and have an awesome spontaneous date now I want to talk about some awesome things that you can do for your family and your friends but let's talk about family first you can send out letters or send out something special to each family member who has inspired you in a great way show them that they're loved by you it's not just about romance show them that they have impacted your life in a way to where you love them enough to write them a handwritten letter or a handwritten note if you aren't good with writing you can also do some sort of secret Santa thing with your family member so everybody draws a name and you go out of your way to show that family member how much you love them on Valentine's Day another great idea for a family member on Valentine's Day is to send them a care package of things that they need I mean that's love in my opinion when my mom sends me toilet paper I know that she loves me I mean I know anyway but like I really know that she loves me when she sends me toilet paper in the mail you know what I mean and you can put a spin on it by doing something like everything that you put inside of this care package is red or their favorite color I think that's a really cool way to show somebody that you love them now I want to talk about some of the special things that you can do for and with your friends and this one doesn't generally have to be for people who are single maybe their significant other is miles away and they're gonna be really sad this is just something that you can kind of do for and with your friends so the first thing that I suggest is to go bar hopping but to make a game out of it so while you are together you challenge each other to either flirt with compliment or say something nice to strangers and then create some sort of prize for the bravest soul or the person that contacted the most people or talked to the most people. I think that's a really fun way to number one hang out with your friends and number two kind of do something nice for other people. Another great thing that you can do is send flowers or candy to someone who has never had a valentine. I mean think about how that will make you feel. That will make you feel great and then it will make them feel great. Valentine's Day is not always about just receiving things but you also feel good from giving too. So find that one person who has never ever had a Valentine's Day surprise and go ahead and surprise them. Why not? Another thing that you can do with your friends is go on a road trip or just a day trip even and you can even take it put a spin on it and make it something adventurous like we're all gonna go to three cities away and get a tattoo or get a piercing or maybe go skydiving or bungee jumping or rent a hot air balloon or a yacht something a little bit different and daring that you wouldn't necessarily normally do could make for an awesome Valentine's Day and my last friend date Valentine's Day suggestion would be to do an in-home photo shoot. So you're going to gather up all of your homies, you're going to get all of your favorite outfits, your makeup, hair stuff, and you're going to spend the first half of the day just doing hair and makeup and changing outfits and figuring out what you want to wear. And then each of you will serve as a photographer for the other person. That way you number one, get awesome photos of yourself. Number two, you have a great time with friends. And number three, it's just a great experience overall. So you get to see what it's like almost to have a professional photo shoot and it's just fun because it's your friend so there's no pressure there now I'm gonna talk about some of the things that you can do for strangers on Valentine's Day the first thing is going to be to hand out care packages maybe to the homeless so you can go out and show them that they are loved too a lot of the times homeless people are estranged from their families or they've lost their homes for some reason or they need just to know that they're loved and to go out and just hand them a toothbrush and toothpaste or some deodorant or some feminine hygiene products or whatever will show them that there are good people out there that care about them and that yes, they are loved. One more thing that you can do for strangers on Valentine's Day is to maybe buy a dozen roses and kind of just hand them out to random people that might look stressed out or sad or like they're having a hard time. You have no idea how much that might make their day and also you never know who you might make new friends with well that's it I hope this video finds you well I hope that it gives you a lot of inspiration and ideas and it kind of changes your thought pattern on Valentine's Day I'd love to hear your ideas and what you do for Valentine's Day that would be great so leave that in the comments you can also find me on Twitter and Instagram I'll link everything below and you don't have to but I'm always gonna say that I will love it if you subscribe. Bye guys.
You've probably gotten on the internet and seen that you can do a lot of things with bleach pens. Yay! Yeah. Well, today I decided that I was going to embellish a pair of canvas sneakers.